we out here playing Destiny 1. Got the Iron Reef D, the Hawksaw, the Matador 64. Since I'm shotgunning, I decided on Claws of Ahamkara. These give me two melee charges. Of course, you spawn in with one, but the second one charges. And so I figure, since I have two melees, having the Rising Storm perk on the bottom Stormcaller tree is pretty good. Because if I get a melee tag, not only does it recharge my super and grenade, but I get a little bit of melee energy as well, thus continuing the chain. Let's see the map. Iron Banner. This altar flame? Probably is. I see I have a stag on my team, that's great. Okay, I'm gonna immediately push for B control with the arc buddies, so that way whenever my teammates run past me, they have arc souls ready to go. That's so where I wanna put it. They can see my uh, midsection through this like little gap right here. Don't overcommit. You need a player cover, dude. Don't stand on B like that, man. I'm standing here to give you cover. You cap the flag. Where did my team go? Like, I should have been paying more attention to that, but I'm not going to leave the central objective just because my teammates want to sit in the spawn. That's how you lose the match, team. He's in a rift. You shouldn't be challenging that. I'll work on a new angle, though. Yeah, Chandler's has the right idea. We got baited into that snipe. Oh, that was close. And he has worm husk. Come on, dude. No, don't be using tractor cannon. Have some dignity. Zone B captured. Zone okay, we got B back. Yours. I'm gonna pair with the tractor cannon guy. I kept shooting it because I have ricochet rounds on this gun. Hoping to uh, tag them in the toes, prevent their healing, even though they're gonna worm husk anyway. Still helps. It's a Kremil's dagger. Gotta be careful on this peak. And that's how you gain ground. Watch the curtain. Gonna get shot from top plat. Give me that ambitious assassin, and let's get out of here. Damn, they peek together at the same time. I thought because I've been holding down that angle the entire time, they would, you know, be a little hesitant to fully push out like that. Nope. Some people don't learn, and I can't expect in quick play or Iron Banner, whatever this is, that everybody plays 100% intelligently, including my teammates. Like, I can't expect them to be making the right plays. So I just have to make up for it by playing even better. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but I know power is about to spawn, so they're gonna, of course, push up to it any second now. Don't let up until they're dust Not gonna peek the same angle again. Don't have my rift, so it's very stupid to peek out. What I can do, though, is get ready on the bolt. Let's get out of here. Go somewhere new. Actually, let's push up. I have a storm caller. Get my health back before I overextend to this power. Go! Rift! Yes! Got it. The battlefield is yours. I'll fully sit here with the super, because they're just in the spawn doing nothing, accomplishing nothing. Shotgun will get me no more kills than anything. See ya. Give me the power. Excellent. Let's back off now. Okay, sit in the spawn. Here, let me go swap my scope. I'll beat you now. Your grab lance is puny compared to this impromptu. You want a challenge too? Okay. Please, sit in the spawn more. We have two zones. 
That was a weird one. Felt like I was in cover there and still got tagged. Uh, teammate, you might, you're gonna get bolted. Let me float up. Away from harm. Let's get out of here. Wanted to uh, hide that shotgun real quick so he doesn't want to run away from me. That was scary. Nice teammate. A lot of arc uh, strider out. And another. Peek again? They'll get bolted if they want to overextend. Let's just hug this with the shotgun. Gonna get a lot of kills. Try to make my uh, character model as tiny as possible. Dude, that overextend. I mean, I guess it paid off for him because he got the kill. Also, teammates, dude. Just work the disc. If I'm standing on B, taking everyone's attention. I'll show you exactly what I mean for sake of the live commentary. If teammates distracting on B like they are right now, watch this. Slide around the corner, watch people. They're going to be totally oblivious. What an oblivion was that? Look at that. It worked picture perfect. Teammates on B, drawing fire, drawing attention. Go around disc for a quick flank, but I'm ready to escape. Destroys them. Saucism. Adjectives. Shotgun time. Shotgun time. Oh, that gave me the super too. No, I couldn't move quick. Uh, top tree would have got me out of that with the teleporting. But at the same time, look at the score. I think that was well worth the risk. Still have all my abilities, thanks to Claws. Oh, that's a shoddy. Congratulations on that Nova Bomb. Figure he would use it before the game ends, and there we go. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this loadout. Sorry that the Iron Wreath didn't get much use. I actually did want to hot swap it to Rat King and go and biz with the shotgun, but eh. I think the Iron Lords would have hated me too. Like, this is a pretty nasty loadout. You want to have it even nastier? Switch that out. Switch that out. And you're cooking with some fire. Let's see here. Can I get another match in? That'd be great. Look at this flavor text on Allied Demand. Rest satisfied with doing well and leave others to talk to you as they please. I think that's a good motto to live by. Just gonna put that out there. Eval, let's see. Please give me like six out of 12 immediately. Aw, oh, come on game. I'm just uh, checking out what other people are using. Why is this shotgun popular? I know it looks like the Matador 64, but it's not like fantastic compared to all the other shotguns. It's definitely above average, but it's not the best. And considering that the uh, Belignant, Balligant, however you want to pronounce it, has Snapshot, which is a great perk because, you know, aiming down sights increases the range, and Autoloading Holster does nothing. Extended mag does very little considering the amount of shotgun bullets you pull per crate anyway. Is it just like aesthetics? Is that why people use this shotgun? I guess time will tell. 12 of 12. Time to go. Ooh, a claymore. Thank you for not using tractor cannon. Trying to pay attention to all the possible builds that I'm going to run into in this match. Okay, so there's a tractor cannon. 
have to make sure I take down that guy, prioritize him. Because if you get to hold a tractor cannon, that's like all my team super is useless, and they'll just farm it up, farm us and spawn with a sentinel, and repeat the process, thus holding power ammo even longer. It just lingers too much, it makes this game unenjoyable for me. And yes, I know, September changes are coming, so everybody has power ammo, but... This is not my cup of tea, but I'm still going to have fun with it, despite it. I like primary guns. I do. Uh, if I go on a kill streak, I'll upgrade myself to the Rat King, but I didn't even really use this much. One person did overextend on the disc, and I tore him up with it. I only needed one shot, but even if he had like half his health, I was still going to win that fight. Because the uh, sidearm in that range is pretty good. I'm opting for Ricochet Rounds over Extended Mag. Even though I have a good ranged option, I still like Ricochet Rounds and maybe the stability they provide more than extra shots. Because I'm probably not going to take out two people. I'll resort to melees or I'll switch guns Iron if uh, I'm spamming and missing that much. The auto-loading holster though is a fantastic perk. I guess I'll talk about the scope while I'm here. I'm going to go top stack. Ready to nade out, shoot anything. Okay, they're going B then. Opponent claimed zone A. I'm ready for this. Pay attention to the radar. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. Your lead grows sharper. Alright, let's go team. Thank you for the shotgun. Your weapon defines you. He shouldn't be able to get the kill. He got the kill. Teammate needed to hit his shots too. And work his way towards cover. I can't peek that because that's too many people landing out. I didn't see what he grabbed either. Warm husk. Shoot. Okay, I definitely made it to cover. So he's using an explosive round. That's that Manan and Huckleberry. I overextended like a dumbass. That's my fault completely. Your opponent pulled ahead. Zone B lost. I'm looking at where my teammates are and you know like trying to guess where the enemy could be based on their splits. You can also see like exclamation points whenever teammates are shooting. So you can sort of approximate enemy locations. I was just completely wrong there and overextended on the previous death. I see that the C flag's lighting up. This is a good time to bolt. Three bolts. See? I knew it was a good time to bolt. I just wish that guy missed the dire promise shot, which he didn't. Also, it looked like my teammates were going to flank around, but they didn't. It's, it's good, though. We got B flag, because that distracted them for that requisite amount of time. I hear the tractor cannons going off. I'm going to watch my spacing. Be ready to run away as soon as I see somebody cross. Alright, watch where the Arc Soul shoots. That's where I'm going to have to shoot as well. I'm stuck in mid. Trying to get an angle where I can help teammate. Oh, he got a double. It's great. A triple. Let's set him up for the quad. Trip mine. Get rid of that real quick. Don't want to overpeak there because I know there's a lot of them. Wow, he jumped way far away. Towards mid. Got a hug cover. I got you, teammate. Zone A lost. Zone C captured. Any bolts? Zone advantage is yours. I see they're going towards C. Let's help C flag. You're about to see an exclamation point from one of the teammates. Ooh, about to farm one A. Oh, get shit on. All of us got him. Throw this down, get ready for landfall, get ready for shotgun. I didn't think I killed him. That was like delayed damage on my end. Just stand behind this block. His golden gun will deplete. Less. 
And let's get out of here while I have the opportunity. You don't panic when you see another super. You just think. You try to make their job as hard as possible. Take as much of their... Uh... You just distract them. And your teammates will do the rest if they're a good teammate. I see he's going to wait at the power. Ignore me for a sec. Right here is a good place because they have to like physically look at me to do damage. I mean, of course they can bolt me or whatever, but... The point is, it forces them in shotgun range if they want to do something. That was teammate shooting. I just heard the sound cue. You look pleased. Zone C captured. Power play. Total control. A flag. Gonna hug cover. Same thing. Wanna force him in the close quarters? They're gonna wait by that power. I see the radar move, so now I can go courtyard and just chill. They can see my rift. Are you kidding me? I'm blown away at that decision making. Like, it wasn't good decision making. Like, that shortstop definitely ruined me. But, like, your plan was to slide shotgun and then worm husk directly towards the user knowing that you can tank it. I mean, it works. It, it definitely works. I'm just not a fan of it. Like, dodging towards them, it doesn't make me, like, harder to hit you. But if worm husk didn't exist, it would be a... Definite death. Let's not get killed by dead end. What I'm getting at is he put himself in a position to where he couldn't do damage to me and I was still gonna hit him. But just got lucky because I got shortstop and his worm husk happened to give him the perfect amount of health. I'll stop harping on that one. Just take the L on that. Teammate, back it up. Okay, I'm very irritated with the Titan right there. Because I'm, I'm stuck here. We're all stuck here. Here, let's go. Kill C-Flag. This is our opportunity. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. We just had to find the flanker. Alright, they're going to be with whatever power ammo they got. Let's get this flag. Good call, teammate. I'm going to push up a little bit, try to keep him off him. Zone a captured. Zone if I see, see highlight, I'm ready to go. Three of them! No, don't throw the rift. I'm going to have to die here. Let's make their job very difficult. And I escape? Wow, they were all thirsty for the kill, and they're going to pay dearly for it. Smart, but you died. Uh, what he did right there was he said, fuck you, Cammy, and threw a pulse at me, therefore denying my rift. I think that was a really good decision. Uh, golden gun and an arc staff, pay attention to the radar and expect the golden gun to jump. They're about to take B flag, but I'm about to super as soon as they get it. As soon as you cap a flag, people usually move immediately. No, don't clamber. Watch the nade. Watch the third person. Just get out of here. That's a rocket. Maybe he pulled it out to fake me out. That would be sick. Arc bolt still works even when you're in a super. Unfortunately, I didn't get him. The idea was right, though. That would have been two kills. Make orbs for teammates. Teammates push in. Kill them off spawn. And because all of us are there, we overwhelmingly force the flip. Too many of them. It doesn't matter if a teammate's here. There's still too many of them. Back it up. I messed up. I deserve to die right there. Still probably going to drop. Notice that I went in cover before going the direct path. I'm still getting chased. Going to get punched in the back any second now. I felt like I was slightly out of the range, but it might have been the stairs. And now I understand why I was being chased so hard. In Iron Banner, it's like really, really inconvenient to keep checking if people have supers. It helps a little bit, though. 
There's just too much going on. Six people is a lot to keep track of. I can kind of ricochet. Hit him. Perfect. I, I like this build a lot. I feel like you can cover a majority of ranges. When you have shotgun though, you almost you never see the sidearm come out unless it's just to preserve the shotgun ammo. But a lot of the time, if you're in shotgun range, you're going to be at risk of dying. So it's almost better to just use the ammo to therefore give them less ammo to take off your corpse. Which is why I like rapid fire shotguns like this one. Because when you make the risky play, they don't get power ammo. You just burn it all. And you kill them from an ungodly uh, range very, very, very far. Because you can take, take out the entire mag on one person. Versus this, they have to be within melee range. Which is why I chose it today. See, you shoot a shotgun blast, rising storm, get your super, get your grenade. It was good. Hope I illustrated that this build can be kind of fun. And if you do want to upgrade it, I recommend Antiope. And uh, unfortunately, tractor cannon busted. So if you got a competitive with this, this is pretty much what it needs to look like. I uh, hope you enjoyed this commentary. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.